Good evening. We were discussing how to use the imperative sentences using some verbs we know. Now let's have a look at the board. Imperatives or imperative sentence. Show me your face. Show me your face is an imperative sentence. If I ask you to show me your face, you will show me your face. Okay. Smile please. If I say or if I ask you to smile please, you start smiling. Okay. When you are posing for a photograph, the photographer asks you to smile please. So you start smiling. Now, go for a walk. Yes, it is almost an advice or a piece of advice. Go for a walk. That means we have used the verb one and then it is a preposition phrase. Go for a walk. Or simply, I ask you to go home now. Go home now. You use the verb one or infinitive form and then we use either the proportional play, phrase or the adverb go home or go for a walk or I may ask you to read the lesson clearly or read the poem loudly or read the poem silently these all actions happen in the classroom okay do homework regularly your teacher asks you to do your homework regularly these days we are not going to school instead we are staying at home and we are doing all our work online either using the whatsapp or or videos okay uh, so i ask you to do your homework regularly until our school reopens okay now let us discuss some other kinds of imperative sentences now have a look at the boat let me drink some water please suppose you are in a classroom and you are thirsty now you have to seek your the permission of your teacher to drink some water in that case you can say let me drink some water please of course you might be saying may I drink some water please instead of saying that you can say let me drink some water please okay suppose you want to go out or probably because your father might have come to school now you want to seek the permission of your teacher then you ask let me go out, please let me go out, teacher or let me go out, please okay let me come in please then you talk to your mother father and then you want to come back to your class then you may ask your teacher let me come in please then the teachers yes please or as come in okay now look at uh, the boat let's watch a film tonight in fact it is a suggestion if you want to suggest something to somebody we generally say let's us do something now have a look at the boat let's watch a film tonight here you are suggesting to your friend that we should you should go for a movie tonight similarly i may say let's begin a new lesson today or let's get started or i simply say let's learn a new item every day in this case we use the imperatives to get things done, to seek permissions and to suggest to somebody so that we can be involved in the process. In fact, let me drink water please is just seeking permission. But let's go to a movie tonight is a suggestion. What is the difference between seeking permission and uh, making a suggestion seeking permission is something you get a benefit from the giver here the giver is the teacher and you are the seeker so we call it seeking permission in a suggestion generally suggest to some things to somebody but 
he may accept your suggestion or he simply may reject it but it is always better for us to use all types of sentences or all kinds of imperative sentences so start using the imperative sentences in your speech or writing i am always asking you to use the sentences in your speech and writing i always advise you to use whatever you know in your speech and writing because speech is primarily for a language the problem with most of the non native speaker like us we know lots of grammar we know lots of vocabulary but we fail to speak convincingly because we never try to use english it is surprising that even some teachers are not using simple classroom english in the classroom i i advise all english teachers not just english teachers other teachers who are teaching subjects like mathematics science and other subjects to use simple sentences it is really disheartening to see that they are giving instruction in transliteration instead of do it at home they are simply asking him to do it uh, at home in telugu but the script is english it's very very bad on the part of the teachers to use transliteration if they can't use simple instructions in english how can they teach english in english because in andhra pradesh the chief minister is very care bent on using english medium right from the primary stage unless teachers are ready for this task they will be in trouble so i sincerely advise all my teaching fraternity especially those who are teaching mathematics physical science and social studies to take care of my advice in the event of english medium being implemented right from the primary school mean the primary level so stop using the instructions in your mother tongue and give instructions in english instead at least try to give instructions to english medium students don't inculcate the bad habit of transliteration we should use a, either our mother tongue or english it is bad on our part to use transliteration for simple tasks like giving instructions what is the problem do your homework regularly please try to answer the question again please try to think again please um, forward the answers to somebody simply use verb one and give the instruction clearly i am giving instructions not just to the students but to the teachers especially those who are teaching physical sciences mathematics and social studies of course the telugu teachers cannot give instructions in english the hindi teachers may not give instructions in english but those who are teaching or handling english medium students right from the primary level to the secondary level must use their instructions in english they should develop the habit of speaking in english otherwise they will be doing a lot of injustice to the learners if the teachers speak english children speak english if the te- teachers resort to the habit of speaking in mother tongue the students tend to do the same so i am asking the teachers to speak in english i am also asking the students to speak in english tomorrow i will be teaching how to use assertive declarative sentences in our day to day conversation bye this is jvl nasimharo signing off for today i will be meeting you tomorrow bye ek question de